it smells so freaking good. I just want to eat it, but don't, don't do that. Don't eat it. We test a lot a lot of product here. Some of them are good and some of them are bad, some of them are just meh. It's all kind of in the middle of the bell curve, right? But then there are those outlier products on the positive side of things that just make a difference, that make you feel better about yourself, that feel good to use, are just become habitual and you're just really glad that you have them in your life. Are they all necessary? No. Are some of them super fun and have made a big difference and impact in my life? Absolutely. And I am very stingy about what I consider to be a product that has made an influence and impact on my life. So I do not take the inclusion of any of these products that we're gonna talk about lightly, but I am very excited to share them with you. And if you are a big fan of like favorites videos, products that, you know, really are worthwhile in my opinion. I did a video a couple of weeks ago, I wanna say, that was all like my Amazon must-haves for 2024 so far. 2024. 2024. <laughs> So far. So you can go and check that out if you want some more. There's like two products in here, I wanna say, that are an overlap, but for the most part, I really tried to pick other stuff. I will put all the links down below so you guys can go and check them out if you are interested in anything. And let's dive in because there's a lot here. And we're gonna start with what is on my nails currently. I talked about some, uh, like a top coat and a base coat in my Amazon video, but today I wanna talk about a brand I've talked about before, I've used before, and I just recently made a big purchase of, and that is Holo Taco. And if you don't know, Nailogical here on YouTube, um, she owns a nail brand, Holo Taco, and I feel like I bought all them. Anything that was blue or purple or like, ooh, this minty color, I bought. Also a banana yellow, which is freaking adorable. I have used her nail polishes before and I tested them for a video and I love them. That just the consistency is really nice. And she used to have a, like the brush, the nail brush was too thin, but she's changed it. So it's a little bit thicker now, which is perfect. The consistencies are fantastic. They have creams, duochromes, metallics, obviously very like sparkly hollow stuff. And yeah, I feel like I bought just like so much, I bought so much. So if you're in the market for some good nail polishes and you've been looking for some fun colors or different finishes for your nails, it's a good one. Next up, I wanna talk about makeup products. I'm trying to think of ones that really like jumped out to me or you know made their way into my everyday makeup routine. There weren't a ton. So really the one I wanna talk about the most is this Rare Beauty like luminous blush. I can't stop wearing it. It gives the prettiest glow to the skin, but it's also blushy. So it's like a two in one. So I use it as a highlight, but I also have it as like a blush topper is the best, like it's not a highlight, but it's not straight up blush either in that it is so shiny that I wouldn't want to use this just as a blush on its own. They have a bunch of different colors. I personally am a big fan of this one. Oh, can you see that? Hopefully you can. It's just like peachy magic. Peachy Magic. This is Cheer, by the way. That's that's my go-to. Love this product. I just keep reaching for it over and over and over again. It's just so pretty. Big into blushes right now. And that one was up there in terms of products that are really, really hyped up. So um, I'm glad that it was as good as everyone said it was. <laughs> Another makeup product. This is not necessarily new, but it's something that I just keep reaching for and I'm always just grateful that I have it, is the MAC Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara Refresher. So this is a mascara that you put on even if you have mascara on already and it's dried down. It doesn't have to be this one either or a MAC one. It can be any mascara. And when you put this on, it's not going to go all like clumped and gross and disgusting. It's like it was you just put on mascara. It's, it's brilliant. So think about it like if you're in the office and maybe you just put on a light coat of mascara and then you want to go out for drinks after work, but you want to have more mascara. So instead of taking it off or like trying to be really careful or whatever, just pop this on and you can like load it up. I don't know how it works. I wish I understood the mechanics behind this product, but every time, like if it's like a date night or I just need to refresh between videos or something, I don't know, just dial it up. You just like put it on and it doesn't, it doesn't clump. It can break through any clumpiness. I can't explain it. It's, it's just so good. Okay, next up is one that I, honestly, honestly, words are hard for me today. Honestly, at first when I tried it, I was not convinced. I used it and I was like, you know, was it good? Yes, but I was like, I'm not gonna reach for this enough to justify it. I was wrong. Coco and Eve, I was wrong. This is their antioxidant tanning micro mist. And this is something that you just kind of like all over your neck and your face. 
boom. It's like an instant tan. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't ir like obviously keep your eyes closed. Don't keep your eyes open during this, but it hasn't caused any irritation. It hasn't um, been an issue with my hair at all or anything. I do put like a towel kind of lightly over it because I don't want unnecessary amounts of spray going in, but it's such a light mist. I love the tone in it. It's so easy which I love as well. So because the tan on my face tends to be the first thing to go, this is just an easy one to kind of like bump it back up to match the rest of me. Doesn't have like a crazy weird smell or anything. It's hydrating kind of. Like it has antioxidants in it. I think it's supposed to be mildly hydrating. I feel like I always have to put a moisturizer on on top, but this is really good. Other thing, oh, this is another, okay. So I talk about this one a lot, but it seems to have made a like a resurgence online. And so I just, I feel like I need to also say how good it is. This is the Isla Paradise brush. This is something that you use for your self tanner. I personally don't use it like all over my body. I find that to be too cumbersome. I'll just use like a tanning mitt, but this is perfect for my hands. Hands, elbows, um, knees, any feet. This is what I use and it just gives the most airbrushed finished look. There's no streaky this that just sort of, sort of like, it makes everything like a paintbrush. It's sort of just like, smooths it all and I can't explain it, but I l live by this brush. I actually want to get a second one so that when this one is being washed and drying, cause it does take a while to dry, I will have a backup because I don't want, I don't want to use anything else. This is so good. It's so good. What else we got? Oh, okay. I'm, I don't think I've talked about this, but I was influenced to buy this and it's actually really good. It's one of those tanning um, back mitt things like this ta -da. it has a little loop on both ends and you go like this and then you scrub it in to your back now you do have to kind of like rotate your back around and stuff and it's good to like be able to see in a mirror to make sure you've gotten everything it's not a perfect system and if you have someone to like do your back for you obviously that's going to be the better solution but we don't all have that all right sometimes chris is out getting groceries it's like he doesn't even know that i need help with my back so yes this works very well to the for those like hard to reach places and um easy to clean easy use it's nice and soft. I don't know what else to say. It's really good. So now I guess, cause we just talked about all the tanning products. It is summer. Let's go into shower and hair products, starting with a scrub. And if you were here a couple of weeks ago, you know what I'm about to say, you know, it's so good. The Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. I, in case you missed that video, I had a bunch of these in 2020, test them out, loved them. And then kind of didn't because they're not really readily available or wildly available anyway they you can find them in certain spots but tree hut make it like a thing i bought the pineapple one to like retest and see like is it is it still as good as i remember oh boy it exfoliated so well and you could just get the right consistency it stayed nice and scrubby for like your entire area versus like some of them you put some in and you're like well my elbows exfoliated now glad i wasted like two dollars worth of product this i mean you get so much to begin with but it smells like fresh pineapple it smells so freaking good i would just want to eat it but don't don't do that don't eat it my skin feels so soft after this it's perfect for before you do any sort of like self tanning and stuff oh my goodness can't get enough of it highly recommend this stuff next up is a mask this is the uh subaki i believe premium repair mask it's under the um shiseido brand this is like one of their brands and it's a hair mask and it's really nice i was influenced to buy it it smells really nice my hair feels super silky soft after i use it and i'll just keep in my hair for like 10 minutes i don't know what else to say about it it's a, it's a hair mask and it works really well for my hair all my damaged hair girlies know if you if you know you know when you find something and your hair feels like silk again you just you don't want to stop talking about it you don't want to stop using it and you're like this is it and if i stray my hair is going to get like it's going to freak out again so i've just been <laughs> using this. And then another product, this is another one that I tested a long time ago. And I think I was, I think it was okay with it. And I didn't really see a lot of value out of it. But then I started seeing a bunch of videos pop up on it saying how much product you're supposed to use. And I was using like 1% of that. And it's the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. This is a humidity proofing stuff. So you put this on your hair while it's still super damp and you like spray it all over. I don't use as much as 
Chris does in his videos, but I use, you know, some a good amount and I'll kind of massage it into my hair, not rub, but like massage it in. I won't brush it in because my hair is too damaged from that. And then you blow dry it and it's the heat that activates the product and it's supposed to stay in your hair and kind of keep it locked in for three to four washes, which is awesome. But why I like it is that my hair stays nice and smooth and because it almost acts like it, like it has a sealant over top of it, it feels like my hair is stronger because of that. So I'm very pleased about this one. There's another one, thought I pulled it out. Maybe I didn't. It's the Kara, Karastas silver one. I just talked about it. This is the other one I use. So I'll use this every three to, not even, mm, maybe every five. I'm not that on schedule with it, but it's really good. The other one is the um, Frig. I have to go get it. It's a silver bottle. This is the uh, serum filler and it basically sort of like coats your hair and protects it and just helps it to stay stronger. And I really like this one. Again, heard it online. I was like, yes, I will use this. So I will use this basically after every wash, except when I use this. That's been working for me really well so far. And then for hair growth, we have talked about this one before. This is the Nioxin Night Density Rescue Serum. The stuff right here. This I think was an overly sponsored product, I wanna, I wanna say. And so I'd been testing it for a while and it works so well for like the little baby hairs in here. They're so much stronger. They don't just like snap off if, you know, the wind changes, which is what it feels like sometimes. It's just like, oh, I just don't wanna do that today. They're so much stronger now. It's thicker and fuller, especially on this side. It's just, oh, I don't know if you guys can see, I can see, you know when you, look at yourself over and over again and you're like looking at it, looking for a change and then all of a sudden you see it. It's like that wasn't like this. This is thickness, which is crazy. Never had that. It's been so long in this journey and I'm very excited about it. So I have been using this uh, not every night. I should, but I don't. You can use this on damp or dry hair. It doesn't matter. I use it primarily just in the front and I will use it along my part as well. It's been amazing. It's been Unbelievable, I really, really love this one. I just started using, they have a, a treatment, like a conditioning mask, but I just started using it, so I don't have fullness of ideas on it. Fullness of ideas. Fullness of ideas. It's been a day. <laughs> okay, and then, the la and then the last product for the shower is um, this little guy. I don't know if this was Shark Tank. No, I, I think it was uh, Most Wish For, maybe? I don't know. This little guy, it's a razor protector for in the shower or for when you're traveling or whatever. And you put it on top of your razor because I get one of those ones where the, the razor blades are all in bulk so they don't have like a, a lid on them. So this is what sits in my shower and it just protects the razor and also protects, uh, you know, tiny humans that like to wander through and be like, oh, what's this? It's great for traveling. They have different sizes. It is one of those products that I'm just really glad that I found. And then onto a face sunscreen. I had tested this. I really like it. Um, it's the Beauty of Josi Josian. Josian. Yeah, I think so. It's their SPF 50 right here. You can see I have used a lot of it. I keep it downstairs. This is mostly, I just use it for my face and neck, especially when I'm going out horseback riding and stuff. I wanna make sure that's protected. I heard from a lot of you, it is a chemical sunscreen. I thought it was a mineral sunscreen, but it's different chemicals than they use in North America. And um, it just, it smooths on so nicely. I obviously, it has, it has SPF in it, so it's, getting the protection, or at least I hope so. Feels really good on the skin. It doesn't irritate. It sits well on top of makeup. Like it's just a really good sunscreen and I'm very glad that I found this. Or was I suppose introduced to it via TikTok? And then you might be asking yourself, you're probably not asking yourself. You might be asking yourself, how are you holding all of those products, Rachel? How did you do it? Well, if you were here last week, I am include, this is the one product, the one product that I have only just started testing it and I have to include it because it is it is just, it's so good and I'm so excited. I already told my sister downstairs. I ran downstairs to tell her about it. I'm obsessed. It still has the tag. I haven't even taken the tag off and it's this makeup bag. It's like a, I don't know, it's shaped like this, like a diamond. And then when you open it, it sits flat so you can see everything that is in your bag. So um, yeah, it's awesome. 
I am so excited about this. I am going to be using it for the cottage. I'm gonna be using it for all traveling moving forward. I'm getting another one for my makeup and using this one for my skincare. It fits so much stuff in here. It is crazy. The gold on it is so pretty. It has a ton of amazing reviews. Lots of pockets on the side there. There's a plastic one in the middle. So if you have anything that's going to, I don't know, leak or whatever, but everything in here feels like it's very wipeable, which is great. Lots of nice, again, pockets and stuff, but then just two big ones, which is perfect. I can't stop raving about this. And like, literally, I, it was, I tested it in last week's video. Like I have not had this for long. I'm just I'm very excited about it. And then I do have, I have one sleep related product, because I've talked a ton of ones in like the Amazon video. I'm very particular about sleep. Sleep does not come easily to me. I need a lot of stuff to make sleep happen. And it's this pillow. I don't know what it is. So I started using this product and I was like, okay, I can see some value in it. Basically, you can put it like this and it kind of holds your face up. Or if you're lying on your side, it keeps your face up off of the pillow that it's under. And then it sort of not only just props you up a little bit if you're lying on your side, but it also just, again, keeps your face from being like smooshed into the pillow. It's nice and silky soft, very easy to wash. I literally just washed this cover. It's a funky little, little guy, nice little shape though. And I really didn't think anything of it, except that I just keep using it. I keep looking for it. You know, when it's like in the middle of the night, you're like combing around for stuff and it's can't see anything. I want this on my head. I want it underneath. I like that it props it up a little bit. I feel like my nose isn't like pushed into the pillow either, you know? I don't know what to tell you. It's just really, it's a weird pillow, but it's a good pillow. Okay, moving on to an earring brand I was influenced to purchase. And a lot of people ask me when they see these earrings, who they're from. And every single time I forget. It's something about other, other re eight other reasons, maybe. Let's offer of Revolve, it's these ones. And also these ones which are so freaking gorgeous and just a little bit different and a little bit dirty, but we're gonna just roll right past that. They are not cheap earrings. They don't hurt my ears. I don't have to put like a cream on the ends like some of the Amazon ones to make them not hurt me all day. These ones, just easy breezy. They're a little bit more on the expensive side. Like I think each of these ran me $60 Canadian with like taxes and duties included. I wanna say maybe 70. Um, and I got a lot of compliments on these. On these, they're just, they're really good quality, beautiful earrings, really love them. Okay, the next product I bought to test out another product and the other product we didn't like. We didn't like it. It was like a bead spinner and it spun the beads and got, it was terrible. But I kept the bead kit that I bought and I just bought one that I saw off of Amazon and I was like, this is pretty. My daughter and I, have been making so many of these like little bracelets. So she selected this like cute little charm, which it all comes with like all of these gold ones, everything, the clasp, everything's part of it. I had no idea. I was just like beads, awesome, perchas. But there were two of these watermelons. So mine has the big watermelon and hers has the little watermelon. And then we have bracelets. Hers are like pinks and purples and blues and stuff, but we have matching bracelets. And so we've been like, playing with different patterns. And I don't know, they're like really fun. They're easy to use. It's like a fun thing we'll do together. And I um, wasn't expecting to love this one as much as I do, but it's, it's really cute. Okay, I have a couple of clothing items. I think we're all gonna really like these, okay? I don't know how many people really like horseback riding out there. And I feel kind of weird talking about this because I recently got back into horseback riding this year. And it's something that I have been waiting to do for a long time and it's making me really happy and I really enjoy it. And so I watch a lot of like horse content and stuff, but I don't really talk about the products I'm influenced by on here. But I wanted to include these just in case there are some other horse people out there, equestrians. I'm not good enough to include myself as an equestrian, but a, like an equest, I don't know, <laughs> not the full thing. But these were technically a Mother's Day gift for me. Um, it's the Rokel, Rockel, Rokel, I think, brand of gloves these ones right here. I won't talk about them too much, but these are a summer glove and they are so comfortable. It's the rock grip ones and they are just really, oh, they're so dirty. <laughs> they wash, you can wash them. Don't put them in the dryer, but you can wash them, but they're so comfortable and so nice for like grip because hands get sweaty in the summertime or at least mine do. And then I can't hold the rains very well. Anyway, I really like them and I was really happy with them because I saw them online, I was talking to Chris about it and then the kids and him got them for me for Mother's Day. So wanted to include those. And then the other thing that 
technically it's a summer thing, but I also use it for her spark guiding, is this Lululemon shirt. I can't tell you how much I love this colorway that they have. Maybe I'll put it in the um, info bar so you guys can check out all of the colors because if you type in the color, you can like see everything. But I found this color and I saw someone wearing it and I was like, that's beautiful. And this is before we took the kids and everyone to Florida. And so I got like myself a little, got myself a little matching set. So I got this shirt. It's just like a long regular t-shirt and it has matching shorts that I can't find anywhere. So I'm just wearing these ones, but it has matching shorts. What I love about it is that it's long enough. Do you know how hard it is to find a shirt that isn't cropped or just like sits? just like right at the top of the hips. And so anytime you move, it's just like, it's so hard to find. And so I love this shirt because it's perfect for horseback riding because I get sweaty, so it's perfect. It washes super easily. It's long enough too. So it like sits nicely when I'm like sitting on the horse, but it also, I have the matching shorts. So it's also like a summer outfit. Anyway, love this color so much. It's so pretty, Lululemon. Go get yourself some, it's so pretty. Okay, this is super random, but it's this specific shirt that I need to talk to because I saw it everywhere, everywhere online, and I bought it because of that. It's just a t-shirt from H&M, but I love it. It has little lemons on it. It's so soft, so comfortable, washes super well. It's not exciting or anything, but like I love big oversized t-shirts and except for this one, obviously. And uh, so I have, actually a whole bunch of t-shirts that I wanna show you. If you are also in that same sort of wants a nice, comfortable, oversized, not super low cut, you can wear a bra with it, really comfortable kind of t-shirt. This one, so pretty. It was sold out for a while. It keeps coming back in stock though, so hopefully it's there. But if not, this one was a 2020 vibe and uh, I just haven't stopped wearing them. I just, I love them. Actually, I convinced, I didn't even convince, Dibs asked about it. I was wearing this t-shirt and she was like, where is that from? I'm like, Amazon and she's like, so I sent her the link. It's awesome. Um, it is this comfort colors, which it, I am to understand that this is very popular in the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorority, sorority houses. They use comfort colored t-shirts, I think. I bought a large, that's the, and this is, I think blue spruce is the technical name of this. And it's sort of this worn gray, green, blue color. Anyway, I don't know. I live in this. You've probably seen it a million times in this channel as well as my other one because they're just so easy, so cute with leggings, shorts, jean shorts, baggy shorts, pants. It's just like they tuck well. It's nice and thick material. It washes unbelievably well. And so I I have two of them. I literally, they're exactly the same. I have two of them because I'm that obsessed. This is what I live in, in like mom mode, you know? And then the other one is any of the Abercrombie t-shirts they have like these soft t-shirts and i have some my daughter has a couple of them because they do a lot of like different sales and stuff so when it goes on sale i'll buy some for her and i'll buy some for me and you've, again you've probably seen this you've probably seen a bunch of them but they're abercrombie t-shirts wash really well they don't pill they are so soft and comfortable it's their oversized like i think uh relaxed tea soft collection this is a medium it's just it's perfection i love them so much okay this next one Technically, technically, nobody convinced me or influenced me to buy this, but I wanna influence you to buy this because swimsuits. I don't know what's going on in the world of swimsuits, um, but they cater to people under the age of 25 and then people over the age of 45. All of us stuck in the middle here, we have nothing. We don't know where to go, we don't know what to do. I want to put you on to, you may not have thought of it as the brand for bathing suits. Here it is. Because I find that none of them are supportive enough. I've had three children. I need some lift, but I want them to be covered. I want them to be padded and I want coverage on the bottom. None of this like, oh, it's maximum coverage. And then it's got like half of the peach is covered and you're like, I'm going to my parents' pool. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, Athleta. Athleta has so many phenomenal bathing suits. I just, I stumbled upon it randomly and they had this beautiful like square neck um bikini and i saw it and i was like okay well i have to try it customer service was unbelievable because one of them it had like the stitching was kind of weird and so not only did they send me a replacement but they also offered me like a bit of a like a discount as like a i'm so sorry that happened like i'm sorry pardon me so incredible their bottoms actually bottom okay 
This is the black one. I just got this. They're on sale right now. There's like a massive sale. So I don't think they're returnable, a lot of them, just so you know. I need you to see how much coverage. Look at that and tell me that is not the coverage we have all been wanting. Nobody gives this to us and I don't know why. So I have this in the black. I also have the navy. And then, so this is the most recent one I got. Size small on the bottom. They are the low rise ones. I don't have, they have a bunch that are like higher rise or whatever, but I really like the low rise. And then I ended up getting this like tankini top really a tankini. It's actually a lot longer than that, which I love. I didn't want something that was gonna like sit at the ribs, you know, just such an awkward length. It is this tankini top. It is a square neck. When you wear it with the black, it looks like a one piece. So it looks a little bit more, I don't know, covered and put together. Like if I'm just swimming around with the kids and I don't want to put sunscreen on my stomach and my back, you know what I mean? The straps are nice and thick. It has a built-in, like it's a wire. So if you don't like wired, just keep that in mind. It is wired so you get the support and it has a thing in the back here. So it like claps, clasps in so it's like a bra. So you're like being held in, but it has that beautiful square. It looks so elegant. Oh my gosh, Athleta, I'm telling you, bathing suits, underrated. Not enough people talk about them. So I will, I will link them. Hopefully they're still there because they're, oh my gosh, they're so good. Keep it in mind for next year, if not. Oh my gosh, we made it everyone. <laughs> Made it all the way to the end. As I said earlier, I will link everything down below so you can go and check all of those out. I hope you love them as much as I do because I feel I feel so passionately about all of these products. I'm really excited. And if you do try any of them, please let me know in the comments because I love, love hearing when you guys are like, I bought it and I love it. It's so good. I tell everyone and I'm like, brings me so much joy, I love it. And if there are any products that have made a big impact for you for 2024, leave them down below. I'm very curious what you guys are really loving right now. Check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any, including the Amazon must-haves video, in case you missed that one. Very similar vibes to this one, but like a lot of new products. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe, new videos here every single Thursday. Would love to see you back here or over on my other channel on Saturdays. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you guys all in the next one.